what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out botch mania 445 that's right we're gonna be checking out some botch mania clips man i know you guys have been asking for it for years for me to check out some botch mania and here it is i wanted to finally give this a try give this a shot because you guys have been asking for it so if y'all want me to go through all the older botch mania videos comment down below let me know continue this series run the hit that like button run the likes up on this video that will let me know you guys want me to check out more of this but this is going to be interesting i've never checked out any of their vids i kind of have an idea of how their videos are but i never actually sat through and watched the entire video for any of their previous uh botch mania clips so we're gonna check this out appreciate our love and support uh road to 70k and let's get right into this whenever Hi, I'm Do No, I'm Kevin. This is Kevin Koo. Uh, <laughs> what? Kevin X Koo. It might be somewhere underneath there. Whatever. <laughs> Watching Botch Mania. See ya. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This oh, Koo's wait. Might be somewhere what was underneath that there. Sign? Whatever. Watching Botch Mania. See ya. Why were HBK's pants so high at Summer Sam <laughs> Bring back the Backlash 2017 <laughs> Lion <lying> O'Hare. <laughs> that neat, that a nerd that managed the Bushwhackers is created a <laughs> uh, uh, These are all going by so quick, I'm trying to catch them. From bikes to tr trains to v video games, he's the biggest fan for it there is. <laughs> <laughs> I like this intro. <laughs> These guys in their 20s, homegrown products in AEW, self proclaimed two of the four pillows of the <laughs> JR, what the hell? You mean pillars? As we alluded to earlier. Well, that's just what we call pillow talk, baby. Oh, he did rip him. Rip! Check. <laughs> he threw it back. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh of course this infamous clip i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to post this because wwe has been trying to block anything resembling this clip so you may not see what i'm talking about here maybe a jump cut we'll see folks he'll get the help he needs <laughs> Oh, that's funny, bro. Could it be? It is. It's Dallas time. Jim Ross. But Danielson shots the body of his own. This is one of the great traits of a Daniel Bryan offense. And by God, I meant to say Brian Danielson. I know what you meant to say. Yeah. Leave me in the woodshed. Champion versus 
<laughs> Definitely, he did not mean to say that. As we look once again at Flair soaring through the sky, didn't get full maximum impact. Bro, no, what the? the <laughs> because you have just enrolled yourself into a college your parents cannot afford. You talk too much. You talk too much. Never shut up. I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. Yeah, just like me. He kicked through the head of Luchasaurus. <laughs> oh. Adam Cole lands one. Look at the bodies. He's kind of <laughs> one right now. <laughs> Matt Jackson shredding the chest of Dan Ooh. Lambert. Jericho. Uh -oh. oh, Junior Dos Santos. He was going for the lion salt. All right, I'm back. My camera started tripping out. <laughs> oh, that table does not look sturdy at all. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is. Well, this is so Oh my gosh, it didn't even break. I've this been the I've had the absolute honor. I can barely get the words out. This is so exciting for me. I've been what? so looking forward to looking you right in the face to tell you I am the table. <laughs> I'm not the table. Speaking of tables, get the I am the table official Botchmania figure Bro. inside December's. I am the table. Crate. Take out your WrestleCrate subscription today until the 7th 12th at WrestleCrate.co.uk to get it. Plus, loads more goodies, including exclusive Botch Club Brother t shirt, rest autograph, and more. 150 lucky subscribers. I am the table. Blue brand That's a real thing. Ooh, isn't that nice? Enter code Botchamania when you subscribe to get a free bonus item. Wow. Adverts. <laughs> Is there anything you've ever said on commentary that you wish you could take back for any reason? Oh my God. Probably every week. Uh, like I said, I oh, never wow, go out there to, to do anybody any harm. Uh, I just, there's a lot of times I put my foot in my mouth. I mean, naturally, I, I just sometimes I speak more than I think. And sometimes my tongue moves way faster than my brain does. Having this conversation, I do remember a specific instance. It was when The Undertaker did his retirement ceremony. Uh, I believe it was last year at this point. Yep. Uh, the official ceremony. And Michael Cole and I were back at the uh, kickoff desk doing the voiceover for whatever was happening in the ring. And they were talking about The Undertaker's history. And I believe it was with Diesel when Kevin Nash came out. And Michael Cole said, it "Was once one of the Undertaker's victims in the Undertaker's 21 and 0 WrestleMania winning streak. They actually battled all the way back at WrestleMania 12." And I corrected Cole because I was so sure that that wasn't the year that it happened. I believe it was WrestleMania 11 or 13. It was not 12. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And I went, "Oh no, we're live." I said that, and I just realized that I'm wrong. And Twitter, of course, let me know instantly <laughs> that I was wrong. And it was in that particular instance, just because of the admiration and respect I have for Undertaker, that I wanted everything to be perfect. I wanted, to, that's why I almost looked at Cole like, Cole, you idiot, that wasn't the year. And then I realized it's Michael Cole. He's usually not wrong about these things. Uh, I should have just trusted the boss in that instance. But yes, yeah, that, that one I wish I could take back. But I think they edited it out, so not, not the end of the world. I'd like to correct myself. You were correct about WrestleMania 12. Before the internet eviscerates me. <laughs> it's too late, bro. Finally. That does look like a fucking Oompa Loompa. That's cold. I'll tell you one thing about John Silver and his travels. This guy shows next to me on a plane. He sleeps like a bear and he snores like a dead raccoon or like a possum that's alive. It's horrible. Wait, what? Wait, what? Const wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be the opposite? He sleeps like a dead raccoon but snores like a bear? Yeah, kind of. Oh, similar. Well, <laughs> Silver makes the tag. Reynolds comes in. Hi, my name is Andrew. Off of the Cultaholic Wrestlings here, there, and everywhere on the internet. And I'm here today to read to you an excerpt from Eddie Guerrero's 2005 autobiography. So strap yourselves in, and come on, let's go see what Eduardo's got to say. Come on, then. On May 27th, 
we went up to Chris Benoit's hometown, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, to do Raw. I was just chilling out backstage, wondering what I was going to do that night. When the agents put up the sheet, listing the lineup for the show, I saw that Rob and I were going to be the main event. My eyes lit up, but then I noticed that next to our names, it said ladder match. Oh, great, I said. Thanks for telling me in advance, guys. <laughs> I immediately what? flashed back to my ladder match in WCW <clears throat> with X-Pac. It wasn't the shits, but it sure wasn't a classic. The problem was that we had no idea what we were doing out there. I promised myself that this time, I'd be more prepared. Of course, Rob and I were both kept busy all day and never really got a chance to sit down and work out what we were going to do out there. Before I knew it, it was showtime. I got worried and spoke to Benoit. Chris, what do I do? I'm not really comfortable doing this match. Just be Black Tiger, he said. Just do what you do best and you'll be fine. All of a sudden, I heard my music and that was that. I didn't have time to think about it anymore. And as I was going through Gorilla, people were barking stuff at me. Don't forget the finish. You've got 20 minutes. But I could barely hear them. Damn. Rob and I started out slow, <clears throat> using old school psychology and really letting it build. For example, I wrapped Rob's leg around the ring post, then smashed his knee with a chair. The psychology being that if I damaged his leg, it'd be harder for him to climb the ladder. Mm -hmm. I smashed your knee to obliterate. There is no way to make a ladder match not hurt. How can you? It's 14 feet of steel. All you can do is take it. Mm -hmm. As the match progressed, what? everybody's advice was running through my head. I did what everybody had told me. I just kept going. Even when things went wrong out there, I didn't stop. The ladder broke twice. Referee Earl Hebner kept telling me different times, so I thought we were in break when we weren't. I busted my inner lip in the middle of the match Damn. when Rob laid the ladder on top of me, then did one of his patented split-legged moonsaults onto me. One of the steps hit me right in the mouth. Boom! Damn. I thought I'd lost my teeth. The worst thing to go wrong was when some fan decided to hop over the barricade mm -hmm. and interfere in the match. I've got no explanation for why he did it other than he must have been crazy. Though that kind of thing has happened to me so many times, this time it was different. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't seen him coming, there's a good chance he could have broken my neck. Mm -hmm. I was starting to climb the ladder when I saw this guy coming at me out of the corner of my eye. He was wearing a jersey, just like the kind Crash Holly, God rest his soul, used to wear. I honestly had no idea what was going on. My first thought was, what the hell is Crash doing running in on this match? Did the <laughs> office send him? Thank God I spotted him because I was able to leap off the ladder just as mm -hmm. he flung himself into it. I landed on my feet and realized that it wasn't Crash. It wasn't one of the boys. It was some idiot fan. Okay. It's on, I thought, and got ready to deck the guy. <laughs> Fortunately, Earl Hebner ran over and grabbed him. I quickly pulled my punch so as not to hit Earl. The guy was lucky, because if that punch had connected, mm -hmm. I would have hurt him. Yeah. Before I knew it, security had hustled the guy out of there, and I went back to the business at hand. My mind was so focused on the match, I didn't have time to stop and think about what had happened. Even with an interruption like that, I just kept going. And that is that, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. And wow. thank you so much for watching, too. And please, always remember that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn. Take it off the <laughs> Take it off the Up to level now. 60. Take it off the <laughs> <laughs> that was well, funny. Kids, uh, that that was interesting, man. That was hella interesting. I enjoyed that. Must do a little treat in lieu of dinner, and here it is. See, I told you the raw would come. Just like I said, <laughs> he's gonna bring us food and water and smite our enemies. Now I must tell you, kids, uh, the rock has laryngitis on a bad back, so. 
He won't be saying anything or doing anything. That's not the great one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I slapped a clown suit on some wino? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I... bud. I am so corrupt. <laughs> we fight with you. Thank you, friends. Your honor is great. Come. Let us gingerly touch our tips. <laughs> what the <laughs> You'd better run, Egg! <laughs> Can your grandfather do this? Hey! Ha! Ho! Hey! Ha! Ho! Ha! Ha! Oh! <laughs> the enemy has the ball. No! Not the odd ball! <laughs> Alright, this is dedicated to... See you the message. I am coming to kill you slowly and painfully. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm done. Look at my watch. You don't like that. Shock the world because he is none other than the Shock Master! Right. Oh, boy, can I go for a nice cold light beer for Miller? So I thought I'd just pop in at my favorite hangout and have one with the guys. Da, 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 Bro, what am I watching? Da, 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 da. Oh, guys. Now we're going to run a few tests. This is a simple lie detector. I'll ask you a few yes or no questions and you just answer truthfully. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> it's the kind of place that makes a bum feel like a king. <laughs> and it makes a king feel like some nutty cuckoo super king. <laughs> You got one guy coming out here, he looks like Tarzan, and the other one, you're a grown man dressed like a friggin' dinosaur. Enough is enough. Stop being a fucking dinosaur and get a job. <laughs> hey, I was watching that. Now it's time for wrestling. You mean we can watch wrestling again, Mom? Yes, dear, all you want. All right! Not the NXT 2.0. Turn it up! <laughs> When I went back to the locker room, I saw nothing but triggered faces. <laughs> the other day, like a week ago, I was saying, what is the audience for this show? Like, who would watch this NXT 2.0? I did not think the answer would be 62-year-old people. I... Oh. <gasps> Dude. What the fuck is, is shit stain booking this Jerry Springer shit? Come on, yep, you've been <laughs> warned. What the oh, hell is in his scene now? I can't. This is why I don't watch it. 
I didn't know it was that cringe. What the fuck is that? I'm sure there's some good stuff on it, but come on, bro. What the hell is... I don't know, man. Hey, man. This video is probably going to be cut up probably for copyright reasons and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to make sure <laughs> you guys can see this. This is my first ever Botchamania reaction. So if y'all want me to check out more, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button. Uh, let me know down below that you want me to check out the rest of the Botchamanias. I definitely will. But I appreciate all of the support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all on the next one.